Hey guys, this is Tim. We're going to do an overview and unboxing of the Vertex 4 SSD from OCZ. It's the 256 gigabyte model. It has an Indolinx infused controller. Um, it'll be interesting to see if uh, the acquisition of Indolinx by OCZ helps uh, the performance of this drive there's some reviews out there that say um, it should be a little bit better. Uh, one nice thing will be OCZ will be able to actually control the firmware being pushed to these drives rather than, you know, consuming firmware provided by a third party um, for the controller itself. Open up and take a look inside here. Uh, maybe. Seems to be a little duck inside. Apparently this is a uh, quality control uh, issue. They don't want you to steal it from inside of the package at all here. We'll uh, take off the bottom and see if I can push it out. Mm. Well, we have a small instruction manual with your warranty information a sticker that says my SSD is faster than your HDD I'd love to see that sticker say my SSD is faster than your SSD this looks like what was sticking in the case was the uh, the packaging from the 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch OCZ adapter uh, love seeing that in black then we have the Vertex 4 drive itself it's a 2.5 inch drive uh, it is I believe 9 millimeters tall, which means if you have a laptop uh, with the um, that needs a slim SSD, you won't be able to use it. Uh, some caution, don't you know, ground yourself before uh, you use this product. I've actually touched a computer case just to be safe. Uh, we had some screws there for mounting. I think you'll agree it's a pretty good looking drive overall. I like the black and silver theme. Here's an internal picture of the Indolinx Everest 2 controller with the NAND memory and your SATA 3 6 gigabit per second port. That covers the unboxing of the OCZ Vertex 4 256 gig SSD drive. We'll show some performance graphs here and then finish with a brief wrap up. for watching this review and unboxing of the OCZ Vertex 4. Please subscribe to Timmy Tech TV for more reviews and unboxings.